This is how to play Have You Ever Seen The Rain? Now I'm going to be making this lesson as accessible as possible so as many people as possible can play this great song. But there's also quite a few live versions of John Fogerty playing this song acoustically where we can really see what he's doing and we can add that detail to our playing and that's what I'll be showing you a little later in this tutorial. And as we go, let's get in for a close-up now and just let me show you quickly what we're going for. So that's what we're going for, we'll have a full play along at the end of this video, but those chords, just a close up on those chords first. Um, this song's in the key of C, which would normally be played like this. John Fogerty in the videos I've seen plays it like this, with a G note, played with a third finger, as the lowest note, so this would technically be a C slash G, now that's total preference. Um, we could just go for the normal C, that's absolutely fine. I think it's interesting to note that if we played this way of playing a C, we could then play this way of playing an F, and we barely move our fingers at all, and in fact they're in exactly the same kind of shape. So this is a C, and move everything down one string, flatten off that first finger from where it was actually, so the first finger doesn't move down, thumb over the top, and I think that's a really important and I think that's a really important option for people to know, and it just gives you a slightly different sound, a bit more variety of your fingers. I think that's very important for beginners to be aware of. There are always different ways to play the exact same chords, and we mainly only have four chords in this song. So we have the C, which you can play however you like, but like this would be great. We have the F, we have a G, uh, which I would call an all fingers G. We could play G like this, that would be fine, but John uses all four, so with a third and little finger, everything right on the tips and curled over, but I'm not bending my wrist too much. And then A minor would be the chord that actually starts the song. So just a quick strum through those chords at the start, the intro would be the A minor, F, C, G, and C. and it's just going between the C for the verse and the G. So fairly simple on the chord side, it is the strumming and uh, a couple of the chord options that we have, particularly in the chorus, that make this more of an improver or a beginner plus or an intermediate level song to really get this dexterity of the strumming. Let's have a close up on the strumming hand now to really get this. So if we play this C chord, however you want to play it, but either way we want to be either muting this thickest string or playing it with the third finger. We're going to be playing this pattern throughout the majority. Down, up, up, down, up, up. Now what I've also added there and what John would add is a tap or a percussive hit on beats two and four, which is where the snare would fall. These are the big beats. These are the, the beats that actually give us the tempo of a song, our beats two and four. Where do those beats fall? That's how we, we know the tempo of a song. So this will become. So the actual downs and ups we're hitting, really, is all of them, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, but I would think about this as just dropping my hand on beats two and four. And that would give us that familiar rhythm and it doesn't feel as... You know, we lose the beat if we just hit the downs and ups all the time, so I'd, I would make sure you're able to do both. Can you just keep this going? The downs and ups. Can you do down, up, up, down, up? down up but again that beat will get lost I think if you just practice that on its own because it's not got that percussive hit and then you want to try and add in now 
Now this tap comes from two places. We've got this um, the, a slight strumming of the strings. It has to be said, we're definitely hitting the strings a little bit. But it also comes from the strings hitting the frets here. That's how we get this sweet kind of tap sound, I guess. And it's the combination It's the combination of those two things that makes it actually quite a natural motion. We're just doing downs and ups all the time. To get total silence, I sometimes like to stick out my little finger like an Englishman drinking tea, just to make sure we catch that thinnest string. <laughs> okay, just, it's ever so slight, but I do, I do like to make sure, you know, it's this motion that we have to make when we finish, uh, when we do the, the tap, otherwise we won't silence all the strings. So that's the main pattern, and of course, uh, the easiest part to do that is the verse. Someone told me long ago There's a calm before the storm To a G It's been coming for some time Okay, if you need that slowing down more, you've got the cog feature on YouTube where you can slow anything down on YouTube, even John Vogarty, and try and play along with him. That would be the way we'd do it. When you do that, you'll notice that the intro is the only bit that has a, very, a distinctly different strumming pattern. We have this. Okay, and then we're into the normal. So just for that intro, chorus is exactly the same, we'll do that in a second, but just for that intro, it's down, up, down, two, three, and four, and is when we would change chord. So the da-da on the A minor is on the and of four. One, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, and four, and one, two, Three and four and a one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and and then to normal. Okay? That's more intermediate level stuff. It, it really is. It's just a faster hand motion and I wouldn't expect all beginners to be able to nail that bit. But that's what's happening. Intermediate level stuff. Need more help with the strumming there. Intermediate course of mine will talk you through exactly those kind of things, that pulling of the beat and things like that. Let's get on to the rest of the song now. For the chorus, we have the F chord for a bar, the G chord for a bar, and then we have this uh, stepping down bass note. So what's happening here is we have C, C slash B, A minor, and then A minor seven slash G, and what is happening here is the bass player in the band would be playing. So going down from the C to a B to A, which is the open A string, and then to the G, and we're mirroring that or copying that with the chords that we play. So we keep the thinner four strings almost exactly the same. The thinnest two strings are exactly the same with the C chord, C slash B. A minor and A minor 7 slash G which would be like this and that's given us have you ever seen have you ever seen the rain very important to know that especially if you're getting up to an intermediate level because it is the root note of the chord that gives the chord its name and it's often like sequences like this are actually how the chords are composed. It's composed from the bass line upwards. It's the bass line that's leading the chord change. So that chorus, as an example, would be... I wanna know Have you ever seen the rain? I wanna know Have you ever seen the rain? down on a sunny day. Now again I'm using this C option that John Fogarty uses and I've seen him play. You could go for the normal C and that would be more traditional. Let's have a full play through the, from the start now 
and we'll go from the very intro. I'll be counting us in. If you get lost, just join in at the next part you can find or rewind as you go along. If you struggle, I'll be checking out consolidating things at that beginner level so you can move forward um, and take on these kind of songs. The first chord is an A minor and it's with that down up down strum. So two, three, four. Someone told me long ago There's a calm before the storm I know It's been coming for some time When it's over so they say It'll rain a sunny day I know Shining down like water To the chorus Two, three, four I wanna know Have you ever seen the rain? I wanna know Have you ever seen the rain? Sunny day. Verse two, one, two, three, four. Yesterday and days before. Sun is cold and rain is hot. I know. Been that way for all my time. Till forever on it goes. Through the circle fast and slow I know And it can stop I wonder Chorus, here we go I wanna know Have you ever seen the rain? I wanna know Have you ever seen the rain? finish there. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you could get through that and you can hopefully play along to John Fogerty as well in the acoustic version. I'll link to in the description. Please subscribe to Andy Guitar if you haven't already and consolidate all your beginner skills if you struggled with anything there. That is how you will move your playing forward, particularly perhaps those new chord grips which are all in the key of C.